Team Pokey Colors family, welcome back to the channel. We're at the PC today because we're going to be talking about the Pokemon card market specifically in relation to where the plays are being made right now. Um, and before we get into today's video, please do me a favor, hit a like and subscribe if you're new, if you've never been here before. We do all kinds of content. I mean, we do pack openings, we do market analysis videos and vin investing videos. Sealed collection updates, binder updates, everything of the sort. So definitely hit the subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. I'm trying to hit 10K, you know, so we're out here uh, trying to hit that goal. So today we're going to be talking about what I think personally I'm going to be doing going forward as far as Pokemon cards, uh, specifically around working on a budget and trying to figure out what to buy. Because like I'm always conflicted. I, I, I get I get a budget and I'm like, all right. I could go out and buy the newest set, rip a bunch of packs, make some videos, and then that's that. Or I could try to go and, you know, put my money into something that I know is going to be better off in the future, if not, you know, the near future. I mean, take a look at what we're seeing right now with 151. You can't even find most of the products in stores. And if you do manage to find, say, a booster bundle for $25, $26 retail or whatever it is, those things are already going for double and it's only been out for a year. That set's only been out for a year. So while modern is popping off, I'm going to try to make some vintage plays because I do personally resonate more with vintage cards, mainly because that's what I grew up with, specifically the EX era. But, um, you know, that's to say that I'm not going to completely disregard modern. It's just everyone's so focused on modern right now with the chase cards. Um, and we'll get to that here in a second. This might be a longer video. So if you want to put this on the background, let it roll. That's cool too. I'm trying to make this more of a podcast style with some info graphics and graphics and, you know, just show some stuff um, as we go across it, as we come across it. Uh, so with that being said, let's take a look at these eBay sold listings and shout out to uh, Team Pokey Colors member Alex for kind of sparking this video idea. Um, and yeah, so Let's take a look here. This is eBay sold as of today, recording 4.51 p.m. on September 19th, 2024. If you go here at a different date, you're gonna see different stuff. But for example, I was looking through here, I saw a base set Blastoise foil for $36. Granted, it's a PSA 2, and these are all PSA graded as far as this, this screen. But if we scroll down just a tad bit, Pokemon Polyrath PSA 9 Mint from base set 2 for $35. $35 for a base set two foil and a PSA nine. And I'm like, okay, that's kind of wild to me. Like I could buy a vintage card. Granted, it's not, you know, a Charizard and it's not a chase card per se, but like if you're trying to make some plays on vintage now might be the time, at least, you know, I, I could say that and, you know, it could go up and, you know, I'd be blamed for causing the market to spike. But at the end of the day, modern is just taking the whole scene by storm as far as the artworks as far as the illustration rares being graded in a PSA 10s being worth two, three hundred dollars, like Tyranitar, Magikarp being six hundred dollars or so, maybe even more in a 10, I don't even know. And you just look at these vintage cards, I'm like, wow, they're not as expensive as I would have thought. Like base set Venusaur PSA 8, that's probably where I would cut it off. Like a PSA 7, depending on the card, I probably wouldn't mess with. PSA 8's fine. $170. Sounds like a lot, but if you look at Greninja being almost, you know, $270, $100 more, you can get a base set Venusaur graded in an eight for the price of a raw modern card. That just doesn't make sense. Like, you know, given the exclusivity of vintage cards and how, you know, how there's statistically not as many printed probably as modern cards, given that the hobby's grown so much over the years, like these cards are rare. I would think, and, and especially in a PSA 8 condition. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. Granted, let's keep going. Um, what else do we have? Like, here you go. Shadowless Blastoise for $550. That's a little out of budget, but it's a PSA 8. And what else goes for more than $500 or about that right now? A complete master set of, wait for it, Scarlet Violet base set, roughly. I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, we can we can look just to just because I care like Pokemon let's try it let's do this master set at least the 151 master sets going for okay so Paldea evolved the master set sold for a thousand dollars this is in the UK but still that's actually absurd 
151 master set sold best offer a little bit under 800 probably like 700 850 or 750 i mean but i mean dude like scarlet violet this is base set i think i don't know it's another united kingdom i don't know if i'm getting stuff in the uk but either way master set 151 890 dollars this set is a year old not even or if it is it's pretty close to being a little bit over a year old i don't remember when it came out but to see a master set of this scale be this much already like that's kind of absurd let's compare that to a set that's been out for a while like let's see i don't know name a set name any set okay let's do let's, we can't do a sun and moon set because they have alt arts but we could do an xy set so let's do roaring skies uh sorry complete set Burning Skies complete set sold less than 800 six, or 680 bucks. So this was earlier this month still, but guys, this set is from 2000, what, 14, 15, 16. So eight years ago, this set is worth less than a set than, you know, that's been out for a year. Like granted, 151's huge and Roaring Skies was overly printed for its time, but if you're trying to get into okay here we go master set a thousand dollars okay so you know 800 to a thousand dollars but you see my point here guys like vintage cards aren't as expensive as they used to be in terms of modern like i remember i mean modern is, i don't know though it's hard to say like when x and y flash fire came out the mega charizards were going for 30 bucks and at the time those were expensive for the the general like you know card universe scene like you could still i remember i bought i bought platinum arceus packs at that time frame for like 12 dollars a pack and i have the troll and toad receipts to prove it too so either way let's move on to something else um so yeah psa 8 stamped ex reverse this is my era 35 bucks 35 dollars. so you could buy a psa 8 stamped ex era vintage dratini from 2004 for $35 or you could buy an EV illustration rare from Twilight Masquerade for like 45 bucks so yeah I don't know man I mean it's really comes down to what you're interested in as a collector but for me personally going forward I might I might try to pick up some vintage gems while I have the opportunity like PSA 6 okay PSA 6 I probably wouldn't buy but let's do a PSA 9 for a PSA 9 rare foil from ex deoxys for 20 bucks even though it's crawled on like still pretty cool card 20 bucks for a psa 9 dude like that's that's pretty much paying for the grade and not even worried about what the card is inside just because psa is pretty uh pretty up there in terms of expensive in terms of like grading um so yeah there's a lot of plays out here right now like what's this one psa 9 mint delta species oil stamped for 2050 like dude sign me up granted your your more desirable pokemon are going to be a little bit more pricey like we got a psa 8 espion foil from delta species at 100 bucks but honestly if you're into vintage check it out man check it out like we got moonbrion selling for 830 dollars or you could get you know some vintage gems that you might have always wanted that you've never really thought about because modern's just at least for me, modern just takes over my brain most of the time, and I forget about vintage. And when I look at vintage, I'm like, yo, this, like, PSA 9 Dark Electrode EX foil with the red, like, foil stamp even, $45. Not even the price of an ETB. Like, what am I doing, bro? Like, why am I opening <laughs> an ETB for $50, getting $10 worth of cards, if that, and unless you hit big, which, you know, there's always that gamble, but, like, I don't know, man balling on a budget these days psa 10 magic card for 400 bucks you buy two of these for one price of the psa 9 moonbrion like what like it just doesn't make sense i mean it does but it doesn't like psa 7 uh so yeah ex era is different um vintage master sets another thing i was going to take a look at with you guys um it kind of fluctuates depending on obviously condition and what's you know being portrayed here but at minimum base set for 510 dollars like not awful still up there um but i was hoping to find more of like a mid era like diamond and pearl era completed set because 
I have a feeling that the modern sets, even to the ta even back to the tag team eras, like those modern completed sets are going to be worth more than vintage, which just baffles me. Like a complete fossil master set for three hundred seventy-five dollars. But if you look at like I was looking at this yesterday, let's look at like evolutions, for example, and compare that to some of the modern sets. Like uh, that, that's probably a better place to start. Uh, maybe if it'll even show. Okay, here's Steam Siege, for example, $219. I have that set complete. Here's missing two. Okay, so here's basically evolutions for $575. Which, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's up there, but like, let's look at a set. Um... How do you spell evolved? How they evolved complete set. 550. So a set that came out like a couple years ago is pretty much like as a master set is the same price or even more than a set that came out almost 10 years ago. That's kind of where I'm wondering like, where does it stop? You know, like at what point does modern kind of level out? And it seems like it's doing that now but like honestly it there's just so many beautiful artworks in these modern sets that everyone's trying to chase them and i'm trying to do that too but even looking at like japanese vintage hollows like a base set blastoise for 75 dollars like i know for sure that 75 dollars like for a base set blastoise in japanese in the original print form that it came from like or an etb and maybe a three-pack blister like i don't know that's just my personal take so if you're going to be buying modern, you might as well just keep it sealed unless you're really trying to rip. That's my opinion, though. I don't know what I'm going to do. If I'm being honest, like look at these looking at these sealed blister packs, for example, like you're looking at Forbidden Light, which was a, a mid tier Sun and Moon era set with like a couple chases. No Charizard chase, really, for thirty eight dollars a pack sleeve. Like, why am I not going out and buying every Paradox Rift pack, every Stellar Crown, Temporal Forces, you know? obsidian flames you know any of these packs that you could see like even uh, even lost origins up to six dollars silver tempest where's that at four dollars so that's retail but when you look at these other ones being sub four dollars like might as well go get some packs keep them sealed for five years and then you're looking at this sort of thing where they could be worth 38 bucks if not even more um speaking to like twilight masquerade or paldea evolved with the super big chases you know, Evolving Skies is still up there. $20 a sleeve, $21 a sleeve blister is pretty good in, what, three years that it's been out? Like, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Just throwing this out there. You guys make your own judgments. I know what I'm going to do. Um, and I wanted to take a look also. One last thing. Looking at Pokemon. Like, this is just absurd to me. So we, we just looked through all those vintage stuff, right? We looked through all that vintage you know, back here, you know, $35, PSA, okay, six, whatever, EV, PSA 8, 45 bucks, all right, not even, like, PSA 8 EV from 2005, or, where is it, a booster bundle, like, look at that, dude, literally, $44.99, plus shipping, tax, handling, whatever, 43, like, pretty dang close, you know, and that, to me, just baffles me, so, why the heck not buy all this modern stuff that's just going through the roof right now and just sitting on it for a year or two, selling it and then buying some cool vintage cards like that. That might be my strategy because personally, you know, looking at these prices here, let's take a look. Let's take a, a guess, for example. Um, so this is, what is this? $422. What is this a case? Yeah, so a Pokemon Center 151 ETB case, which has, I think, five in them five or six or maybe even more the 10 i don't know anyways it's a case for 530 dollars or we could come on over to the good old feebay and i mean right there right there so if you were to if you were to, if you would have bought a, a one pokemon center 151 etb case held on to it for a year like i don't I don't know. I mean, that's market. That's most recent sales, but 
how much was it when it first i mean you could have got it for 350 bucks so i don't know man like i would rather have a shining charizard from neo destiny than a sealed case of etbs but granted that you know sealed case could go up in the future so i don't know i'm kind of rambling i know this video is kind of weird and random but just throwing some stuff out there to be aware of like i don't know there's just something about the market right now that just feels weird and i don't know how to describe it other than that like modern products sealed are worth more keeping sealed than it is to try to rip packs and you know open cards yourself like let me think um if it's not a chase and it's just a regular regular illustration rare like hmm, i don't know name one arbok really cool artwork uh really cool artwork from temporal forces i think yeah six bucks you could probably buy them for cheaper honestly well i mean it's gone down in price a little bit but you're looking at this right like you're not even guaranteed one of these in a pack. You're not even guaranteed one of these in like maybe 10 packs. Maybe you are, I don't know. But I mean, the Japanese ones are even cheaper. So like, if you want the artwork, you're honestly better off just buying the Japanese version because they're a lot cheaper. But if you're an English collector, I mean, even a, a Metagross for 10, Licky Tongue for four, Grottle, which was hyped up because the artwork was so cool, only at three bucks. Um, this Litten, another one, $6, like, okay, whatever. $2, $2, $2, $2 $8. Like, this is unreal. Like, you could open a booster box of this set, not even pull a pincer, but then, you know, you're looking at the price of these illustration rares for these amazing artworks, and they're so cheap and so affordable, it's, like, unreal. Like, why would you not complete a master set? Granted, there's, you know, the big dog cards you gotta worry about, but, I mean, come on, dude. Like, you can actually master a set pretty, pretty decently now. Um, I mean, even these cards are down from the release. Like I, I already, I own this card and sold it for 40 bucks. And now that's able to, now I'm able to buy it back for pretty much half price at like 20 bucks. Remember when this Morty's conviction was a hundred dollars? Yeah. 43 and still trending somewhat downward. Like, look at this. Like one of these sales hit 90 bucks and then boom, major crash. And now it's kind of leveled out here at the end of it. So like, you know, if you're going to open some packs, might as well go for a master set because we've seen the master sets, dude. Like, how they evolved. That's not right. What is that? I don't know. Here we go. 800 bucks for a Paldea Evolved complete master set without two reverses. I mean, $750. Like, what? Like, that just that's just insane to me. Like, that's, that's awesome. But, like, I'm like eight cards from completing the set and i could sell it turn around and sell it for that much like that's just that's insane like i could buy a shining charizard tomorrow there's one at my local card shop for 600 bucks i could sell palde evolved master set and go buy a shining charizard i don't know it just doesn't it just doesn't seem right let me know your comments let me know your thoughts i know this was a long video very random very sporadic um i don't know man i i don't know modern sealed over modern singles yes Vintage sealed over modern sealed. Yes. Vintage singles over modern singles. No. Um, vintage graded over modern singles. Yes. No. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, 60 bucks for a slow bro PSA 9? Sure. Here we go. PSA 8 Jungle Hollow for $40. Graded in an 8. Like, sign me up, dude. Sign me the heck up. I might I might have found my new passion in collecting. I'll let you guys know. I'm going to be making some purchases upcoming here in the next few weeks. Um, I got some sets to complete, obviously. Um, and, you know, I'm going to be on the lookout for steals and deals on the vintage market. Because, hey, who doesn't love a vintage graded card for less than the price of a modern day booster box? Granted, modern day booster box probably has more long-term value if you keep it sealed. So it's like, what do you want to do with it, really? But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I I don't know. I just feel like I need to come on here and talk about stuff, and I, I feel accomplished. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening if you didn't watch the video. And be sure to check out the links down in the description down below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. X. Follow me on TikTok. I'm posting on those platforms every single day. And uh, yeah, hit the subscribe. Be greatly appreciated. 
let's have a discussion in the chat let's make it civil in the comments all right i want to hear what you guys have to say because there's just there's just too much overlap and i'm conflicted on where to go with with my collection granted you know i'm still rambling but whatever you guys know what i'm talking about um <laughs> hope you have a great day i'll see you guys in the next video peace